Do you want to aim like this on console rest? Or even something like this? Killed one. No! I just left the trap door open. Killed now. two. Oh my god, got him! Oh. Then make sure to watch the video all the way through to learn all the best ways you can improve your PvP skills in console rust. Alright, so the things I'm going to be going over in this video are awareness, recoil on weapons, make sure you have the right settings to reduce input delay and lag, and the last one is having a good connection to your server and the right setup equipment that can get you way better at the game right away. So starting with awareness, and what I mean by that is watching out for enemies at all times, whether you're farming trees, rocks, or you're in different monuments, you always have to be looking around to make sure nobody's near you. I feel like I win my fights way more when I see my enemies before they see me, because then I could position myself to get a good shot on them first before they can even shoot back at me. And I know the sound is pretty messed up in this game right now, so that's why you have to be even more careful when you're running around. There's a really useful setting in the control layout, and it's called Head Look Hold with LB, and you could switch it to that by pressing Y where it says Swap Special Action, and you could swap through the different options that they have, but the Head Look Hold for LB is definitely the best one to use. You can look left and right without having to stop and look. You can even look behind you a little bit, which is really useful. And since the sound is so bad in this game, it's hard to hear footsteps. So that's the very first tip on how to get better at PvP. It's not about being able to shoot somebody faster. It's really just about being able to outsmart them while being more careful and getting better positions on the map. Now for the second tip, I'm going to talk about the recoil on weapons. And I'm sure most of you have seen this game on PC before where the recoil is really bad. And the reason they do that on PC is because there's a lot of hackers in the game that can put on no recoil. And for that reason, they have to make the recoil pattern so unique for each weapon so hackers couldn't do that. But on console, they reverted way back to the old recoil where it was 10 times better. So for the first three or four shots of your gun, the bullet should go straight. But then after that, the recoil pattern goes from left to right and it keeps going back and forth. It doesn't go up and down. So when you're fighting somebody, you don't want to move your right stick as much. What you want to move is your character. So when you're in a fight, you want to be moving left and right, like bobbing and weaving, trying to dodge the shots. This should help with keeping your aim straight, but it's also going to make it harder for your opponent to kill you. All right, and now in the third tip, I'm going to be talking about the settings, because if you don't have these same settings, then the input delay is going to feel really bad, like I said, and you also might be getting some lag spikes or some frame drops that you normally shouldn't get if you have these same settings. So there's a few specific settings that I think are the best. Let me hop into my settings and show you real quick. Nothing important in the game settings, but in the controls, there's a lot of different things you want to switch here. The first thing you want to do is turn the vibration off. You never want vibration in shooting games because it's going to mess up your aim. It also makes your controller hot, so if your hands sweat, that's probably why. Make sure you have auto sprint on. With auto sprint, after you're running for a few seconds, you can remove your left stick from pushing forward and it'll sprint for you. You can like move left and right with your right stick, but you don't need to have your thumb on the left stick. And this also allows you to go into your inventory to switch things around if you need to. Like if you need to take more syringes out, if you're getting shot at and running away, you can do that without stopping to run because you never want to get caught standing still in the game. That's probably the worst way to die. My crouch input is toggled. I have camera control type as digital boost. Um, analog acceleration is probably somehow a good setting, but you probably need specific settings for it. I just feel like it's definitely not a bad setting because it is in the game, so there's a reason for it being in the game. It probably has some benefits. I just personally think everyone should stay on digital boost for now until people kind of figure out the sensitivity settings a little more. Now you can copy my regular sensitivities for aiming and sprinting and all that, but these four settings on the bottom will really improve your PvP skills if you don't have them already, especially these dead zone settings, which I'll talk about first. The dead zone settings 
make your analog sticks feel more sensitive the more you lower the percentages. And this is going to lower the input delay in the gain that you're getting because your analog sticks are going to react faster to the movements since they're more sensitive. So you're not going to have to move your analog sticks as much as you needed to before, which is just going to make your movements a lot faster. The dead zone left doesn't really matter as much as the right, but I also like to lower it to a point where it doesn't feel like they're super unbalanced. Camera inertia takes away accuracy of movements to make your camera feel more smooth and you don't want that because you want your moves to be accurate and this usually helps with like flick shots like if someone's shooting you to your left and you quickly have to react then this will like make it so it's super exact your camera view won't slowly stop it'll just instantly stop which is exactly what you want. And lastly, the boost multiplier. This doesn't really like affect you too much, but I think the standard was 200 and I thought it was a little too much. So I kind of like it at 120, but this one you really can't feel a difference with. And the final tip is something you can't really do in the game to get better, but having a good connection on this game will give you a huge, huge advantage, especially because of how laggy the servers are already. So if you have a good connection, you're probably gonna win more of your gunfights just based off your better connection. And a super fast way to immediately get better connection is to use an ethernet cable, which is basically a wire that goes from your router directly into your console. And when I did this, it doubled my internet speeds on my console. So having a wired connection is actually a huge difference. Also, if you don't have a next gen console, you're probably gonna have lower frames you can see from my videos that I'm on next gen because it looks smooth. Playing on an old gen and a next gen is almost like a different game. So if you want to instantly be better at the game, then I definitely recommend that you get the next gen consoles because they're way better than the old gen. And lastly, having a headset with a mix amp is super, super important in this game. With my mix amp, I'm able to hear a lot of gunshots and people walking around that my teammates tell me they can't hear at all. So a mix amp also does do a huge difference and it could probably boost your awareness in the game. So that's everything I have for you guys in this video. If I helped you guys in any way, make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe if you're new because I'm gonna be posting series videos. I'm gonna have a part two of my first series up on my channel soon. If you haven't seen the first part, go check it out. I actually spent a lot of time editing that video. And that's it guys, peace out. Hello, he respawned. Kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him.